polyaromatic hydrocarbons contain fused aromatic rings. Some examples shown here include naphthalene, anthracene, and phenanthrene. Formally, Huckel's rule only applies to monocyclic compounds. What we mean by this is that formally, Huckel's rule can only be applied to a single ring whose aromaticity we are considering. However, when rings such as benzene that are aromatic are fused together, the resultant compound typically retains at least some aromatic stabilization. Often, though, that stabilization is not as great as it would be for a comparable number of individual benzene rings. For instance, Naphthalene has a resonance energy of 61 kilocalories per mole. This is essentially a measure of its unexpected stabilization. If we had simply added the resonance energy for two benzene rings, we would have anticipated a larger value. Each benzene ring has 36 kilocalories per mole of resonance energy. Multiplying that by 2, we would have anticipated 72 kilocalories per mole of stabilization. However, naphthalene has only 61 kilocalories per mole of stabilization. The reason for the reduction in resonance energy is that each ring is not fully aromatic, if you will, in each resonance form. Three resonance structures of naphthalene are shown here. In the first resonance structure, the left-hand ring could be considered fully aromatic. In other words, it looks just like a regular benzene ring. The second resonance structure can be drawn in two different ways, depending on whether we are counting the middle set of pi electrons as being with the left or the right-hand ring. Either way, only one of those two rings can be considered fully aromatic. In the third resonance structure of naphthalene, it's the right-hand ring which is fully aromatic. So, in each resonance structure, only one of the two rings is exhibiting complete and full aromaticity. This is why we see less stabilization than we would have anticipated for a comparable number of independent benzene rings. Similarly, anthracene has a resonance energy of 84 kilocalories per mole, which is much less than what would be anticipated for three independent benzene rings. The next video in this series will continue our discussion of aromaticity with ions.